What's up guys? Today we are watching the season one finale of Wednesday. So last episode a lot happened. Our therapist lady, she died and we thought that she was the sister to the Gates family, but I guess not. But yeah, she died. I kind of didn't expect it, but now she's dead. And we found out that Tyler is actually the oogly boogly bitch, the monster dude. And I was kind of surprised, kind of not. But I mean, I'm just kind of sad for Wednesday because now she has to apologize to Xavier for accusing him for all that shit. Because, like, look at that. Like, yeah, it, it seemed like they were setting it up for him to be it, but I just, I didn't think it would actually be him. I'm kind of grateful it wasn't because I actually did like Xavier and I did like Tyler too, but not anymore. But I'm better to see how this episode is going to end, so let's get into it. Who is he meeting? They didn't give me your note. Is she going to confront him about it? Savior warned me about you, but I didn't listen. Ironic now, huh? Ironic would have been framing Xavier for murder while the real hide helped me put him away. Hmm. Or maybe, does he not know that it's him? Why'd you kill her? I thought hides were typically loyal to their masters. Wednesday, seriously, this is nuts. On outreach day, I told you I was visiting the old meeting house. He must, like, not remember or something if he's, like, this confused about it. Wounding yourself that night at the Gates Mansion? That was a master stroke of misdirection. Okay. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, it was still weird since he was barely hurt. It's bringing me out to the woods to confront me alone. You said I was alone. Hey, shit. I'm out of here. Actually. You're coming with us. And that's like the first time we've seen her use her powers, so I like that. That's only half true. Do you recognize her? Perhaps if I hadn't been so distracted by my own mother hogging this photo, I would have noticed yours sooner. Wait, that's his mom? Severe bipolar disorder. We both know that's a lie. She was a hide. And your father has been living his life in dread. Never really quite sure whether or not she had passed her condition on to you. I kind of feel like he literally just didn't know any of this. Like, he seems so surprised unless he's like just really good at acting like that. Help. And Tyler here is always one step ahead of his father. Then you're on your own. No, don't, don't, don't leave me here with Oh god. Loki, I didn't think she would torture him, but now I'm kind of not surprised. Hello? Sheriff Galvin, we have a problem. And her name is Wednesday Adams. But, like, it's him. So, like, yeah, I know torture is extreme, but, like, it's him. If he, like, really gets away with it, though, like, I'd kind of be pissed. Get out. Wait, Wednesday, wait. Tyler! No, no, what are you doing? He still wants to talk to her even after all of that. Like... What does it feel like? What does what feel like? To lose. Damn. Okay. Okay. I could taste it. And it was delicious. 
It is so weird seeing him evil. No, no idea how it's coming. What do you mean by that? Who's coming? Was that like fear in her eyes? It kind of seemed like it. They brutally disemboweled six people, then harvested a variety of their body parts for good measure. Perhaps if you'd come to me with your suspicions rather than taking matters into your own hands, we could have worked together. Uh, men did what? An impossible position. Tyler is the hide. And he has framed Xavier. He confessed everything to me. I wish I could believe you. She can't prove it. Like... There is no more time, and there are no more deals Wednesday. Pack your steamer trunks. We will have them shipped and say your goodbyes. My God. Like, I, I get she's done, like, other shit, but, like, she should have the chance to at least show that she's not lying. Why would she lie? You know? I know you're not the hide. Tyler used me to frame you. He is the actual hide. How do you know? Okay, so he's like not mad at all right now, or maybe he's just waiting until after. I was falsely accused. I should have believed you. But since you seem to have some sort of psychic connection to the hide, I was curious to know if you've drawn anything recently that might shed some light on this you situation. You want my help? I'm sorry, Xavier, but you're literally the only one who has like some kind of psychological thing with this shit. Leave. See, I don't blame him, but then I also do. Like, we're kind of in a situation right now, and he's literally part of like whoever could help. Enid, the mark you have left on me is indelible. Anytime I grow nauseous at the sight of a rainbow, I hear a pop song that makes my ears bleed. I'll think of you. That's sweet. At least she, she's made friends here, even though it's hard for her. If he tries anything, we have a school full of gorgons, vampires, and werewolves. Ready and waiting. We've got this Wednesday, I promise. I wonder if this episode will actually see Enid get to, like, wolf out. Because I feel like that would be like a good kind of ending. Thing, I'm going to miss our makeup tutorials. And you better keep sending me moisturizing tips. Stay in touch, okay? Everyone loves Thing. Wednesday. This time I'm personally escorting you to your train. I have one final favor. He's awake. Okay, like why didn't anyone say sooner? Listen, I've been meaning to tell you. I shouldn't have gone to the dance. I should have been with you. When the dance floor calls, you gotta answer. <laughs> At least he's not taking it to heart. Just for a moment, I thought that they weren't black. They were red. Who the hell has red boots? I was thinking about it in the at the end of the last episode too. What did I say? They may be wild, but they're true. Tyler told me everything. Tyler actually told her? Okay. Jackals. But eventually he willingly became your servant. Man, this actually makes me feel bad for Tyler. Ugh, that's enough. Tyler, honey, make mama happy and shut her up. 
his her switch up like a train I sent Tyler to intercept you I never made it to the station oh gosh heard enough oh it's, it's gonna be oh I didn't even think of that oh my name is <laughs> Don't tell me she's dead too. <laughs> what now? She literally just found out the truth and now she's dead. What you gonna do thing? Who you gonna go get? They confront Miss Thornhill. Because she's behind everything that's happened. She's the bad guy. Bad woman. Uh, she's just a really bad person. So now they're gonna get behind it. Yo, B-Boy. Welcome back. What's he doing in your room? Oh no, he's getting jealous. Wait, Enid, what the hell is going on? What about Wednesday? Tyler and Thornhill took her? Where? Craigstone's crypt, what the heck? The way he, like, they communicate so quickly. It's right, and Wednesday's been taken. We need to call the sheriff. Mom, I've gotta go. Wednesday's my only friend, and if she's in trouble, I've gotta help her. It's Hive Code. Hell yeah, Eugene. Even though it is not a good idea since he just got out of a coma. Kind of a deja vu thing we got going on, huh? Except I won't cry anymore. It's like his whole demeanor has changed, and it's like I'm kind of here for it, but also not since he's the bad guy. The supernatural. Tyler's been collecting all of these body parts to resurrect Crackstone. The one man who nearly succeeded in. They're really gonna try and resurrect that man. Have to do with me. My dear Wednesday, you are the key. Your arrival at Nevermore set the chubby wheels of my plan in motion. But the killings started happening, like, before she even went to that school. Like, it was literally the first day, and no one even knew her yet. Resurgate! 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 Don't tell me that shit's gonna work. So he's back from the dead. What if he just like killed her right then and there? Same fate you bequeathed me. <laughs> now burn in the eternal fires of hell. <laughs> um, she ain't dying. She ain't dying. I think. Well, yeah, it has a season two, so she can't die. So, what's the deal with Thornhill being a psycho? She murdered Weems and then took Wednesday to Crackstone's crypt. We have to get everyone in the school to safety before it's too late. Who's gonna be the new principal of that school? Thing and I will go look for Wednesday. Okay. Nightshades forever. Seriously? Even Thing. <laughs> Even Thing snapped. Okay. Listen, Crackstone must be stabbed through his black heart. It's the only way he will be vanquished now and forever. Is your spectral vision impaired? I'm dying. <laughs> Hell yeah, goody coming in clutch. But it is kind of sad that we won't see her again. Is she finally turning? Oh my god! 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 Oh my god!
my god, oh my god! It's happening! She's actually turning, no way. This will not end well for you. That's so weird actually like watching him turn. Enid transformed into like a full ass wolf. And for this moment, what it means for my family. Silence, woman! Be gone, or I will cut thy tongue from thy wretched mouth! Damn, you resurrected him, and he said that. thing i kind of figured he would he would come save him but he was with enid so i didn't know <laughs> he shot his kid but he don't know it's his kid oh he's a tyler So now you know it's your kid. Is that the same sword her mom used to kill the other dude? times is she gonna get hurt this episode like so much for the sword Who stabbed him? Xavier? Okay. Okay, if one of them dies... <laughs> to be honest, that fight didn't last as long as I thought. Look at her, like, man dismissed you and now you're gonna be like this. <laughs> What's his name, Eugene? Eugene and his bees. Why are you trying to shoot him? That's what you get from messing with Nevermore, bitch. Hell yeah, Eugene. Turn around, Eugene. Is she really gonna kill her? It was just a kick in the face. Okay, less brutal than I thought. Damn, she looks kind of roughed up, but I mean, she was in a fight with the hide. But what happened to Tyler, though? So, like, I didn't think he was dead. <laughs> mm, 
the one time she actually let Enid hug her. So she actually still is leaving Nevermore. Who's, like I said earlier, who's the new, who's going to be the new principal? Because they can't really just shut that whole school down unless, like, they can somehow. And she finished her story. I hate to admit, but I am going to miss Principal Weems. Same, actually. Like... It's going to be so weird without her there. Now that classes are canceled for the rest of the semester, you have to come visit me in San Francisco. I can pretty much guarantee fog and drizzle every day. So it's only for this semester, so they're going to be back next semester. Kind of seems like he's not too mad at you anymore. People who would take an arrow for me, so... Welcome to the 21st century, Adams. <laughs> he got her a phone. <laughs> Goodbye, Xavier. No hug. Yes, no, maybe. Maybe she will, maybe she won't. I think maybe. My very first talk. How does someone already get your number? You just got that phone. Will today's stalker become tomorrow's nemesis? I know the suspense is killing Wait, you. did he, did he, ew. It kind of seemed like he just randomly just started. So he broke out? Fuck. What happened to the other girl though? Like Christina Ritchie's character. Cause like I know Wednesday like stomped her face in. But it's like, is she dead, alive? Like they know, I don't, she was also just talking about her but I, I couldn't tell if she was saying if she was a, live or dead or not but it's like it's this episode was really good i'm kind of sad that it's over like i'm mad that they killed off like a good bit of like the good characters like the therapist was good the principal was good even though sometimes she had her moments where she was like eh but like they killed off two really good characters and then not even that i was surprised that like her parents weren't like in this episode at all like it was only the driver dude i thought they were going to show up in the finale but i don't know they'll be back next season i'm guessing maybe if wednesday even goes back like i'm pretty sure she's gonna go back to nevermore because it's like the whole cast is there unless they're gonna do a whole different cast somewhere or put them somewhere else i don't know there's a lot that they can do with that. But now, Tyler might be on the loose. Her and Xavier are good, so we're Gucci with that. I feel like it's so weird that everyone's going home for like the whole semester, but then it's like they kind of have to because they have to find someone else to run the school and everything. But it's like, are they going to make them repeat like the whole year or just the semester, you know? I don't know how they do school over there, but it just made me think. But now, e Eugene's okay. He's out of his coma. He's the only one that didn't die from the hide. And I'm, gl I'm grateful for it because if he would have died, I would have been so pissed off. But he's okay. He's fine and dandy. We're all fine and dandy in the moment. But I just want to know what's going to happen next season. Like, what kind of creature or whatever they're going to bring in for this shit. I don't know, because I feel like maybe Tyler will 
be coming back because it's kind of obvious that he's most likely going to since it seemed like he broke out but like it's still like a whole thing because if Christina Ritchie isn't in it anymore then like who's gonna be Tyler's master you know unless he's just gonna do shit on his own mm. but I am sad that it's ending but on to another show I guess since the show is ending, I am starting... What's the show? I forgot the show of the name already. The name of the show. What am I saying? I am starting The Last of Us. Yeah. I forgot what show I was starting. But yeah, we're starting The Last of Us next. I'm excited for that because it seems really good. So, I guess, come back for that. 